Good morning guys, Unfrequented World, and we are just loading up for another day's adventure with John and Stan. We're going to head out uh, out of town and hit one of the first Lumber Baron's campsites. Um, there were quite a few buildings there, there was a pay shack, all kinds of stuff. It's quite a hike, and right now we're filming on the new S9 Plus. So it's quite dark in the garage, uh, might not look great so far, but I'm hoping later today we can get some shots and test it outside. Um, I don't have a case for it, so we are going to film most of this still with the S7. And this will just be brought out when uh, there's no no dirt around. I don't want to get dirt or scratches on it the first day I own it. So anyway, we're going to pack up and get out of here. And the next you'll see us will be in the field. All right, crew's all here. So we're going to pack up and off through the bush. Metal detecting hazard. We got the wrong spot, so we got to pack everything back up and move down the road. <laughs> This is John's fault. Yeah. <laughs> Dan, yeah. I need you to carry your detector in your right hand because you're going left again. Okay. <laughs> Trail, but now it's swinging left. Yeah, we're going. We're going the wrong way again. Yeah. That's where the house and the picture stood. Okay. This to the right here was barn, and the picture was taken from over there. We're here, it's looking good. So this mass of trees right here, guys, is kind of funny that they all grew right here on the foundation. Oh yeah, there's the foundation. I can see it now. The big house, two chimneys. Two oh chimneys. yeah. Here, I'll make some nice here. Here, on this side. Look at that, guys. Nice. So there's the entrance on the far side, guys. You can see right there. And look at the size of the tree that's growing up in the middle. We talk about the size of these trees and the age of these places. Look at the size of this tree in this foundation. It's absolutely massive. You know, I put my hand on here, you still, I mean, it's, it's massive. <laughs> well, you got your work cut out for you to clear out this one, Stan. Not really. Did you bring a chainsaw? <laughs> no, I just I can't take out the big ones, obviously, but I can clean up a lot of the small shit. Right here, guys, is the main entrance. You'd never be able to tell if we hadn't looked from the other side, but... There it is. Nice right outside the entrance here, guys, I got my first signal. Just so there's no doubt about where we're digging today. <laughs> An old saw blade. Bits to an old mason jar here. Look how flat that is. Huh? Look at that. See the, that's like, uh, I think it's sedimentary. Ah! Yep, for sure. Nice piece of rock though. I'm down here in the foundation and just off the back side they had the chimney was here. There's some bricks you can still see. And where Stan is just clearing out right now, uh, there was an addition here. Right there. Okay. I was too slow on the uh, record button to catch Stan finding the uh, wire fence again. <laughs> He's good at finding those. Oh. So this is circa 1870, guys. That's uh, this foundation, and it was a, a lumber mill. So. They had a pay shack here, a bunch of buildings, houses, everything. Well, we're getting her cleared out a little bit in here. Oh yeah. We got a pretty good pile. All that stuff back here we took out of here, so we'll be able to swing the detector soon. Now we can see the entrance. We're getting there, Stan. We're getting there. 
You don't want to come over yet, John. We're not done moving shit. So John's got some horse tack, and he says this is a napkin holder. He's positive. <laughs> Stan, you missed one. I'm coming back. <laughs> no, that spruce right there, I meant. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you might be oh, a while to get through yeah. that with your blade, but I'll, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> I know somebody who would really like that. I'm not going to mention any names. Look at this. He's joined the dark side. He's using a pinpointer. <laughs> it was bound to happen. So John's found the old doorknob here. Got both sides of it. Getting the old fireplace back up and running. So I just came down to the uh, river here and dug this massive piece of something out of here. To me it looks like the leg off of an old wood stove maybe. Hard to say. The foundation is just up there, you know, 30 yards. And then right here is the little creek that they would have did laundry, bathed in, fished trout in. So the creek's just down here and uh, it's a little frustrating guys. I mean, tell me how I'm supposed to swing any of this stuff. We're in the right spot, I just, I can't hit any of it. Have to come back in the spring. Still down at the water here, guys. Got something ringing up that could be coin. It's uh, small. Well, it only seemed like a small signal because it was down there 16 inches. But uh, I banged all the rust off of it, most of it anyway. And uh, it's actually still got a pretty nice form to it. Probably had three quarters of an inch of rust all the way around it there. I couldn't tell what it was when I pulled it out, but... Still doing along the edge of the river here. Everything is massive. Everything is deep. So while I was away, I guess John has hit the mother load of artifacts here. Mm. It just keeps coming right here. It's just all coming out. What do we that's got? All junk. Here? But yeah, that's the old pliers or whatever. But like this must have been a blacksmith or whatever because look at all the oh yeah, yeah all sorts of stuff like that. Yeah, it looks like you found the blacksmith shop. He's just digging it out. He's not not even detecting. He's just digging it out. <laughs> See, if you got nothing to compare it to, you'd say that was an all right sandwich. And then John showed me what he's got. Swiss and roast beef. I'm gonna let him make my lunch from now on. Got a logging pick here, and then I missed this one earlier. John found this earlier. Big old axe head. And then there's poor Stan, who, while cleaning the site, snapped the shaft on his uh, H400 here. Must have stepped on it. So we're going to... Uh, Splice it. Yeah, we're going to make a stake and stick it in the shaft there and see if we can get it working for him. Jury rig, old school. Improv. Send this to carry all. <laughs> Show him how a real man fixes his detector. <laughs> There you go guys, there's a real Canadian fix right there. He says it'll work, but he doesn't know for how long. We got no tape, so. Yeah, it's working. Maybe we'll play a game of horseshoes later, boys. We got enough. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't even need the detector here. He's just digging a trough. So is that the handle? I don't know. Looks neat though. So you can just dig a hole here in the ground anywhere. You don't even have to detect. I just pulled 15 things out of here. You know, nuts, bolts, chisel ends, wire. We're throwing everything in a big pile there, but uh, there's a thousand signals here. <laughs> Another horseshoe for the horseshoe tree. John's got four, I got one. He says it's a competition. I don't know why. <laughs> John and I have been digging here for half an hour. And there's some of the goodies, I mean. You know, there are some interesting bits and pieces in here, but. So I guess we're betting five bucks on the first coin, 100 years or older. I told John I'm gonna need my horseshoe back because when it comes to coins, I don't stand a chance against him. I don't know. Some of the best swinging I've had today right here, guys. 
<laughs> I can actually get in here and swing a little bit. Full of signals too, so. So I'm at the base of this big tree here, and of course, right down in the roots, I can only get my hand in there. Down about eight inches there. I don't know, I can't go much further. See if we can get this. Look at that hole, guys. That's like almost down to my elbow. Under that great big root there. I got it though. I got it. At least it's a little bit interesting. A real nice old buckle. How old is that? Look at the size of the tree, so. I'm gonna call that a hundred year old buckle. And anybody wants to say different, whew, you can dig the next one. So I just dug my buckle out of there, and John came over and he got another one. <laughs> you didn't have to drink, dig 12 inches under a tree to get yours, did you? No. Back out in the field here, guys, but really limited where we can swing. I mean, there's a few mossy trails here. But uh, very, very, very limited as to what I can do. I, I don't know whether it came off a, a tractor, like, you know, one of those. But yeah, that's a hole. Whether there was multiple holes, hand riveted on there. Well, it was a lumber camp. I'm sure there were multiple hoes. And then what What was this? <laughs> what was this? Had a handle. Kind of looked pretty brutal. Mm, medieval, medieval war. Uh, instrument of war. Yeah, like... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that John is. wants everybody to know that he ended up with six horseshoes to my one. And uh, that that four foot piece of saw is his versus my little nine inch piece. Mayan stand, Mayan. Mayan. So there's another pile of goodies that we found today, guys. And look at this. Look at we can actually walk in the entrance way. Stan's gonna take care of this later, he tells me. Look at how nice and clear it is in here now. Lots of iron junk in the bottom though, so but we gotta give it another going over. You can determine, Gary, go to the far hole against the far wall, and you'll see that this place burnt down. I dug down the original hard floor. Far hole. It's flat. Okay. And it's Doing some excavation here. And that's the nails are all in the bottom. So you guys can see there's about oh, 18 inches of crap here before we get down to the old floor basement here. And it is all burnt out as Stan's saying. And further proof of that is he pulled these out of there. Melted glass. So definitely burnt down at some point. So all of these nails came out of that hole with the melted glass and the ash. Oops. Give the guy a pinpointer and he's pinpointer crazy all of a sudden. <laughs> if you find something. <laughs> Got another one of these uh, medieval whatever they are. Some kind of shovel. <laughs> Wait, this one's got a handle on it. Look at that. So. Ooh. Ask the audience. <laughs> While I'm recording, Stan, you ask the audience. <laughs> Can you tell us what the hell this might be? Old farm implement? Or part of a farm implement? There's an old can come up out of the floor, guys. Tomato, Heinz, in a can. And they opened it with a, an old fashioned. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, I guess we're going to call it today. It was a great day for finding uh, lumber mill relics, things like that, bush stuff, but uh, not so great for coinage. Just can't swing out in the fields here, too much stuff on. So definitely going to have to put this on our list of places to come back in the spring. 150-year-old foundation looks great. I'm sure it'll still be here next year. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next video. Yeah, Stan says he needs a moment alone with this tree this here. Is, this is giving me goosebumps. This tree's seen stuff. You know. Massive. Look at that. And even this one here is uh, not not too much of a slouch either. I mean, that's a 200 year old tree too. <laughs> that's just a mature adult. This is great grandpa. Something's been poking me in the foot all day. 
and then I finally realized it's not in my boot it's through my boot there it is probably got a hole in my foot <laughs> cripes look at the length of that Jeez.